So today's project, we're going to use Buff Magic and some of our polishers and show you how we get this back to a shine from the dull that it is now. Sure hold, clean and simple. We're working on our 23 foot Allberry project boat here at Surehold Studios. And now we are going to use our Buff Magic buffing compound, which you see here. Now this is a variable grit compound. And when you work with this, the key is slow and steady. If you use it too quickly and move at too high of a speed, this is gonna break down really, really fast. So we wanna slow into it and work through it. Sam's gonna show us the process of properly using this. We have our Surehold rotary tool here. This is a professional grade tool. Key with these is you wanna keep them moving. Again, he's gonna show us the pattern with that. To make things simple, we name our pads to match the compound. This is our Buff Magic pad. You're gonna need a chip brush to put the product on. And from there, I'm gonna give it over to Sam, who's gonna take you through the process. Sure, absolutely. Okay. All right, so when using Buff Magic, it comes out as a a little bit thicker paste. I just take my chip brush and I like to paint it in X's. And you gotta remember that a little bit of Buff Magic goes a long way. This is a very strong, very thick compound. So I like to work about two X's worth of section. You just have to paint it on nice and thin. Now that we've got that painted on there, we gotta grab everything we need to buff the boat. First things first is safety. Very good to have my glasses. And then I'll need the rotary polisher there you go. and a nice clean pad, but we're gonna make sure it's really clean by grabbing one of our scrubbing pads use this or a spur. I've got my polisher set at its lowest speed setting and what we're going to do is fluff it and make sure that everything is clean. There should be no debris in there and it's clean and ready to go. And set this off to the side. Now when using this type of polisher you have to keep this machine moving. This will create a lot of heat on a fixed surface. It won't have to worry about it as long as you move it back and forth and up and down in a working pattern. Start with the machine pressing directly against the surface. Smear the product around just a little bit and set your speed setting up to around 1600 to start. And go ahead and pull the trigger. Now, when using Buff Magic with the rotary tool, you want to make sure to keep the tool moving at all times, but not in a circular motion. You want to work in a two foot square area, and we want to move the tool left to right, lowering it just a little bit in overlapping motions as you work across your area. Once you've reached the bottom, now we're gonna do that same area working up and down, again, in parallel, linear, overlapping motion. Using just the weight of the machine on a horizontal surface, or just light pressure on a vertical surface. You wanna buff until the compound begins to disappear and the surface gloss begins to show. Remember, we are trying to pop out that shine from the oxidation. Depending on the hardness of the gel coat, and the depth of the oxidation, you may need to reapply the buff magic and make an additional pass or two. All right, looks like you're getting a really nice shine out of this. Hey, Barry, you wanna come over and take your first gloss meter reading? Okay, let's take a look and see how we're doing here. So, uh, feeling really smooth. It's looking really, really glossy. Let's take out our uh, electronic gloss meter, turn it on, make sure that we're zeroed to uh, 90, which we are. And so we're looking at, we, we got a gloss reading right here in the, in the 90, 91 range. Now something like this is almost more than you can expect from a boat of this age that's been out in the harsh Bahamian sun, never garage kept. So this Sam is looking really, really good. Now let's talk about how we can do this with our at home gloss meter using one of our bottles. And again, you're gonna set this up to the side of the boat you're gonna look at it from about a 45 degree angle. And now I can see all the way to the cap and I can even make out our logo in the top black area. And it's pretty, pretty crisp. So if you know that you could see all the way to the cap and you could start to make out that logo, you know you're in the high 80s to low 90s and you're really getting the boat back to where it needs to be. So as you can see, this section that's been fully buffed with the Surehold Rotary Polisher and our Buff Magic Compound has come back to be a beautiful showroom shine. We're getting a nice deep gloss on that. And now 
This video tip is just about the buffing with the Buff Magic and the rotary polisher. Take a look at one of our other videos and you're gonna see us come back and do our pro polish. Now this is a wax protectant. This is gonna be the layer you're gonna to wanna to put over that. So there you have it. That is our clean and simple tip on using Buff Magic with a rotary polisher to get rid of oxidation. Until next time, I'm Barry Burhoff with Sherold Industries, here to help you keep your boat clean and simple. Come on guys, who left mud on my end screen? We gotta keep this place clean around here. That's better.